What's up everybody, my name is Matt and today I'm gonna to talk about what is a creative technologist. The past five years I've worked as a creative technologist. I started off at an ad agency and then now I work at a big tech company. Simply put, a creative technologist is someone who finds creative ways to use technology. I know what you're thinking, that's super broad Matt, but that's the truth. Creative technologists work on a bunch of different projects and they can be different types of people. To give you some examples of projects that you might find that were worked on by creative technologists, you could have everything from product development, um, from the early stages of prototyping and concepting to doing the same type of thing, but for marketing and ad agencies and campaigns for brands. You can have them working on live production for concerts and, and artists. At the very baseline, a creative technologist has a understanding of the creative process along with technical skills. There really is a large spectrum. On one end of the spectrum, you can have creative technologists who are super technical to the point of, you know, work professionally as engineers. And on the other end, you have super creative minded people who might not really have any technical skills or maybe just one, but they're so creative and good at coming up with ideas that they can still make something work. When I worked at the ad agency, see my team of four people we all came from really different backgrounds I came from studying industrial engineering having taken a few design classes I knew how to code I knew how to do things with my hands I knew microelectronics I kind of knew a little bit of everything another one of my teammates backgrounds he went to school for front-end development another person was an artist completely from the creative side didn't know how to code but he really had an interest in messing around with emerging technology to the point where you know if he didn't know how to do something he'd get someone or work with a team to create like a really dope idea or project uh, another person on the team she was an engineer and then she went to grad school at NYU ITP where they do more of emerging technology and media. And then we had another person on the team who studied graphic design and then became interested in technology and ended up doing this too. The point is anyone can be a creative technologist. So where can you be a creative technologist or what type of companies has these roles? You know, creative technologists are found across industries, across different sizes. So you can really find them anywhere. But again, you might have the same title for all these companies, but the role is gonna be really different at each place. You really have to read the job description of what the team is looking for because it is a really broad title. Like I said, a lot of people with way different skill sets. So it's really about what the company needs. So really you can find creative technologists everywhere. They can work everywhere, but even though they have the same title, there's gonna be varying responsibilities at each and every place. So why does this role of creative technologist exist? Creative technologists across the board are able to rapidly bring things to life. And in business, you know, it's if you're the first to market, if you're the first to do something for an ad campaign, there's a competitive advantage for that. So that's why they're really sought after. At the same time, creative technologists aren't just specialists. They know a little bit of everything to be really dangerous or more so even if they don't know it, they're really able to, to pick something up new really quickly and ride with it. And that's really important because as the world gets more complex, more ambiguous with emerging technology and new platforms, you need people that are really able to navigate this is ambiguity. And so when you have creative technologists who are able to work with emerging technology and be able to rapidly bring things to life, a company or a place or whatever gets cooler projects, cooler products, just cooler work being made at a faster rate. So I wanna end by talking about how to become a creative technologist. Honestly, that topic could be a whole video in itself. So I'm gonna just give it to you real straight. You need a portfolio of creative work, obviously, using technology. Yeah, like your work really should speak for itself and you should be able to talk about your projects and you know, what technologies you use, what the idea was and be able to communicate that. And this is just an introduction to what the hell is a creative technologist. If you have more questions or wanna know more, leave a comment or just hit me up on LinkedIn, do whatever you want. Yeah, let me know if uh, this is a topic that's interesting. I don't know.